guys, I'm Annie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm a little bit late with this video this week and that is because for the past like three or four days I have actually been really ill and I had no voice whatsoever. It is just coming back now so I might sound a tiny bit croaky but I've got a voice so I can now carry on with my braces video. <laughs> so this week we are going to be doing how to keep clear braces clear. This is because... I don't know if you remember, but in the first video, I actually read a list out that was like an aftercare list and it said everything that you can and you can't eat. So you couldn't eat anything tomato based, you couldn't drink tea. Um, I know I said as well that I really like drinking tea, so I got the straws for that. But somehow I ate something and my braces got a little bit stained. You could sort of see the rubber bands that are around the bracket had gone a little bit off, off white, sort of a little bit yellowy colour. It probably wasn't that noticeable to everyone else, but I could see it myself. I'll try and get a close-up picture on here that I can put in for you and see if you can see it. So then I thought, well, how am I going to get these braces back to being clear? The last thing I want is to be walking around with yellow braces. Every time I smile, I was thinking, like, oh, can people notice it? So I did a bit of research and had a look at a few things that we could do to try and get the clear braces back to clear again. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon, and then you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Also, watch the video right to the end because I have got a top tip for you today. And trust me, if you've got braces, this is a good top tip. <laughs> so everyone who's got clear braces wants to know, how do you keep clear braces clear? So where should we start with this one? I'm going to try and pop a picture in here of the braces close up now so you can have a quick look at them. First of all, I am going to just show you what toothbrush I use. So we've got this Oral-B toothbrush, which is an electric toothbrush. These are from Boots. I always find that electric toothbrushes are way better than the, just the manual ones. Especially these with the round head, they can get in everywhere, they can clean your brackets better and you can get right to the back of your mouth as well. So definitely go with an electric toothbrush to keep your clear braces clear. I also found this, tooth, this toothpaste. It is an Oral-B toothpaste and it's called Glamorous White. So I went and got one of those. This has actually got like little beads in it that work to clean the teeth and well keep them keep them white. Uh, the beads sort of remove the stains off your teeth. It does actually say on here removes up to a hundred percent of stains in three days. So we'll be putting that to the test as well. This was also from Boots and it was two four six pounds. So I did buy another one as well. This is the one I've been using so far. So the same Oral B again, but this is called Blast. So so this is them both together, the Glamorous White and the, oops, <laughs> and the Blast there. Uh, I will link them below so that you can get to them really easy. Another thing I found really helpful is this Colgate Peroxyl mouthwash, which is this. It is a medicated mouthwash and it contains hydrogen peroxide, uh, which also helps with whitening. It says on here, uh, for adults and children over 12, you need to rinse um, for one minute and then spit. Use three times daily, after meals and bedtime. Don't forget this is a medicated mouthwash, so please read the instructions on this before you go and use it. Now it is time for my top tip. So this little bottle here works miracles. This is called Ambersol. Uh, and you can see it's a liquid. If you've ever used Bongella, it is a little bit similar to Bongella, but Bongella is a gel. This is a liquid, so when you put Bongella on, like say if you've got, got an ulcer or anything, you put your Bongella on, it is a gel, so it like slides off sometimes. This is really easy to target the area with it being a liquid. The way I use it is just unscrewed cap, Put one finger over it. Make sure your hands are really clean because you are going to be putting your hand uh, in your mouth. And then just tip the bottle so then it's on your finger and you can just put that straight onto the area in your mouth. And I find that this works really well. It has actually got a numbing agent in it and it works really quick. So I'd say within like five to ten seconds you can tell um, that, this is, uh, that this is on the cut. 
it works really well because I find that when my braces have cut each side of my cheeks, just about, well, when I'm just going to go to sleep, when I lay on one side, I can feel it digging into the cut. So this just numbs it a little bit and helps me sleep a little bit easier. I did get some of that on my tongue actually and it numbed it straight away. So yeah, it shows it has got a good numbing agent in there. It doesn't actually taste of anything either, so it's not got like a weird taste or it's not flavoured. You can't really tell that much that it's there. If you do get, get a taste of it, it's not like a horrible taste or anything. If you don't want to use your fingers, you can always use a cotton bud and you can dip the cotton bud into it and put it onto the area inside your mouth. I actually hate using a cotton bud because it actually goes through my, you know, like the thought of having a cotton bud inside your mouth, like the cotton wool on your cheeks. Oh, no, I can't do that. So that's why I use my finger. But you can use either way. It is totally up to you. Next week, I'm actually due to have my braces tightened for the very first time. So I don't know what to expect at all. Uh, I will be back to keep you updated uh, with another video on my tightening process and what it feels like before and after. So fingers crossed it won't be too bad. And uh, thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next week. Bye.